Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these absolutely delicious, crispy, sweet and sour chicken balls. These are just like the ones that you get in the Chinese takeaway, only yours are going to taste so much better because you know that you made them yourself. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a quick overview of the ingredients. I will leave all the ingredients in the description down below so you know exactly what it is that you need to buy. You can get most of it, it is available at Chinese supermarkets or just order it off the internet. So first things first, we want to get on with prepping our chicken breast. Now I'm using four chicken breasts here, there's nothing fancy about them, they're just standard chicken breasts. I like to cook them in a very specific way. Um, I slice them down lengthways and then I just cut that into half. I think that gives you a really good yield on your chicken and it makes it the perfect shape and size for your chicken balls. If you do want them a little bit smaller, then obviously just cut them into smaller chunks, just like this, where you could cut them into three. So you need to add that chicken to a bowl, because we're going to add a marinade to this. We're going to leave it for a couple of hours to marinade. That way all the flavour is going to get in there and it's going to taste absolutely delicious. So the first thing I'm going to add is, please don't shout at me, do your research, it's not that bad, but a teaspoon of MSG, a quick pinch of salt, and then I'm going to add a little bit too much here, but I'm going to add one teaspoon of white pepper. And then we're going to go in for about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Now, the reason I said to do the research on MSG, guys, is because 90% of the stuff that you buy in a Chinese restaurant, it will have MSG in it, and it's really not that bad for you. So do some research if you are worried, or alternatively, just leave it out. Mix that together and put it aside for a couple of hours. So while your chicken's marinating, we're going to get on with making the sweet and sour sauce. Now I'm using cornstarch here, two teaspoons of. You could use a potato starch, or you just want some form of starch. Obviously, edible starch. Two teaspoons of cornstarch, and then I'm going to add the same amount of water. And we're just going to mix this together just to make a little cornstarch slurry, which is what's going to be used to thicken the sauce. So to my wok or saucepan, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. To that, I'm then going to add two cups of cold water. I find it a lot easier to use cold water at this point and then heat it up afterwards. I'm using a quarter cup of a white wine vinegar. Rice vinegar will work just as well. And a quarter cup of a good quality tomato ketchup. Just give that a mix together to make sure the sugar is lovely and dissolved. Then add just a dash of soy sauce. Now we just want to give that a good mix together and bring it up to the boil. So once it's boiling, turn the heat down, add your slurry, and then just give that a good mix together and you'll see that almost instantly it will thicken up. And there you have the most simplest and beautiful sweet and sour sauce. If you wanted to make it like the takeaways, then you could just put a dab of red food colouring in, and then it will literally taste identical. So now we're going to start making our batter. So, obviously, either of all the utensils you're going to need some cold water. I do want to spend just a couple of seconds talking about this flour, though. If you can get hold of this Green Dragon brand, it's absolutely the best one to use. Normal self-raising flour will work just as well. It's just that this has the edge, and this is basically what it's designed for. So, if you can, get this one. So, I'm going to add two cups of this flour to my mixing bowl. Now I don't know the exact measurements of water that I use, um, all I do is just add a little bit at a time, a pinch of salt. Um, I just add a little bit of water at a time until it gets to the consistency that I want. The consistency you want it to be like a really thick porridge, the thicker the batter, the better. So add a bit of water, start mixing it, you can clearly see that this is way too thick, so I need to add some more water. Like I say, I don't know the exact measurements, unfortunately, but just keep going. You can always add more, but you can't take some away. Well, you can unless you add more flour, but like I say, that's the consistency I want. Nice and thick batter. So with the same flour again, or if you wanted to use a cheap one, then we're just going to put this into the bowl. All this is for is literally just to coat the chicken on the outside so that the batter sticks to the chicken. Now, please be careful while deep frying. So get something to drain them afterwards something to scoop them out obviously I've got my batter ready and then my chicken so we're ready to start cooking so the production line is going to be quite simple I'm just adding some vegetable oil to my wok because we're going to be deep frying remember 
you just literally put your chicken in the flour, into the batter, and then into the oil. But like I say, please be very careful while deep frying. Don't make sure your oil is not too hot, otherwise it'll overflow, and then you're going to be in a whole pile of mess. Trust me, you don't want that. So into the batter it goes. Like I say, make sure the chicken's got a really good coating of the flour and the batter. You want the batter to be really thick, that's how it goes nice and fluffy. Chuck it into the oil. I only add probably two or three at a time, otherwise your oil temperature goes too low and then it ends up really full of oil and they're not very nice at all. So add them in in batches. You want to cook these chicken balls and so they're at least 75 degrees Celsius on the inside if you've got a thermometer and they must be absolutely beautiful and golden brown on the outside. That is how you make the most delicious, crispy, sweet and sour chicken balls, just like the takeaway. In fact, no, I'm going to say it, they're better than the takeaway. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become part of the family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.